All right, this is the Bridgeport Series 1 2 horsepower vertical milling machine. Serial number is 4562909884. Yeah, coming around. Let's take a look at things. Got a few, a few items on here that you don't see too often. Of course, the Y axis uh, power feed. First and foremost, uh, it's got one of those on there, which is kind of nice. We'll run that in a minute. All the rest is standard Bridgeport Series 1. If you want to show up the ways there, it looks like those are chrome ways too, aren't they yet? They're still in nice shape. Table looks clean here, yeah. One lamp. Go down low, got an oiler and a mister after the tags. That's the mister there. And off to the right, to right there is of course an oiler, which all works really nice. So it's nice to have on there. Coming around the back side, we'll turn it on now. Somebody put a magnetic starter on there, which is nice to have, I guess. So uh, you can start that because we're going to be running it in a second. All the rest up here, standard overarm, uh, the DRO, of course, is another nice feature to have on here. It's got the DRO, Mitsutoyo. And as you pan across and down low, of course, is the 6F power feed for the table. That's the controller for the uh, YX, by the way. I forget what the designation is for that one. I don't see too many of them. But that's on. You can see the red light and the scales right there. And this is on too. Both of them are ready to go. And in fact, we could, uh, we could let's start with the spindle. We can, uh, yeah, that's all on, ready to go. We'll power up the spindle, do a couple of things, high and low range maybe. There's the DRO. In fact, I was going to, if you want to go back here, I'm just going to, should be at a zero all mile. So, yeah, those all work really nice. So, we'll do that in a minute. Let's power up the spindle. Check the cross feed here. Here's the quill. It's got a dial indicator sitting up here too. Uh, quill. And I think no, we got no collar in here right now, so we can let that spindle go. Mister, and let's see, we're, range, yeah, we're in high range. Let's start in high range. That's where we're at, so. 700, you can kind of see it. We're at 700, and 1,000. Feet is on. It's not bad, 1,400. I just do reverse, why not? Sounds about the same that way. We'll come back to it in a second. We'll finish off on high. We'll get back in the low. I think we got it there. Yeah. 180. Take it back up again in low range. 260. Sounds really decent. And again, switching over is not a problem. The clutches and the engagement lever all seems to work real nice. Back up high again, 1800. We're good there. Here's the feed while we're on it. Uh, it's moving right there. It's all coming down. I think if we, if we can check the disengagement, that's that. So, one more time. Coming down, that all works nice. Table lock, quill back up. We're all set here, not much more to look at. It's running pretty good. 1200. No brake, brake's done. And then down low, of course, uh, we do have the, the uh, DRO, manual feed. You can kind of see things moving here, both ways. And the table feels really nice too, it's not bad. It all works good. We do the cross feed. 
same thing, reading out over there. Feels really nice here, the ways are good. Moving right along here, so bring this out. And then we jump over to power feed. I can get it right on the table right away. If I engage, let me see if the pot's down low. And let it kick in, spring loaded again. We're feeding one way. It's moving pretty fast, but just to see how it how it works. And we can kick it up one time going this direction. Back down slow again, that works. Let's go the other way. Snaps in, it's taken off. There's real slow here. Let's see if we can get down low, there we go. Nice and easy. A little bit faster and rapid. Nice moving. Back down and neutral. And same with the other one. We can just throw that into gear right away. Moving along and speed it up some. And here's wrapping on this guy. And let's go the other way. Oops, kick in. Yeah, this one is like it's falling out a little bit, but I don't know if we're not hitting the bar down there. I haven't really checked it out. Stays in, but I don't know if they got these things attached properly. And uh, speeding up. Slowing it down, nice and easy. More of a realistic cutting speed there. And that's about it. And if you can see we're clocking up on top, you know, and uh, see the numbers rolling off. So that's about it there. I mean, yeah. It's a nice, easy feed. So, again, I'm not using the auto, auto cutoff dogs, but they are in the bar here. There's one here, and that one's tight, and yeah, there's one in the other end. See down here. So they got the auto cutoff dogs on here to kick out the uh, power feed. So that's it. I mean, the DRO works good, spindle's fine. Overall, it's a, it's a good running tool, really. Yeah, we're all set here.